hello guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to easily create this sliced building animation from vox youtube video why the us election only gives us gives you two choices so without wasting much time let's get into it legislatures presidential elections can definitely be made more fair and if you've not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoyed this video please do subscribe and if you want to support my small channel please you can do that on patreon or buy me a coffee thank you so we are inside of after effects already and as you can see here i've already created this animation already so i'm just going to be showing you guys how to recreate this inside of after effects so as you can see here i've created a new composition the new composition is just three seconds long it's just going to be a very short animation with 25 frame rate and 1920 by 1080 and so we hit okay so the first thing we need to do is i've already downloaded this capital building without a background which i'll be uploading in the link below in case you want to follow in this tutorial so i'll just bring that down into our timeline here then scale it down so i'm just going to scale this down to maybe 49 to 49 exactly so that's it i think this is really smooth so i'm just going to scale it down a bit here yeah. so i'm just going to so i'm just going to unlink this by unlink the scale properties by clicking on this tag here then i'll make this 36 and now our length is smaller and our width fits our home and this is what we want so the next thing we need to do is make our cutout so i'm just going to duplicate this main image here this the one below here is just going to be our reference image to see what we are cutting out from and in a minute you see why i made that so i'm just going to press t here and bring down the opacity to like maybe 40% or so then clicking on the top one I'm just going to uh, click on the pen tool here then try to create a marks around it so I'm just going to zoom in here then once you click hold, hold it down to create this bezier handles here then go to the other side and also click and hold to create this I'm just going to kind of create sort of an arc arc here So you just follow what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to create a round shape around this top layer here. And once I do that, I'm going to hold down control and then click here to select only this part here. Then I'm going to draw the marks around it. Marks. Then also hold shift here and do the same thing to this. Then finalize. So you now see that we have a max around what we need here. And this image below is just showing off showing us what we have up top here. So once you do that, we have one here already. Then I'm just going to duplicate the image I just created a max around, duplicate it and the below one. I'm going to delete the max from that one uncheck the one up top then create another max just to cut out this part here so i'll do the same thing here i'll cl click and hold this then go to the other side click and hold then do the same thing so i'm just going to pass forward this so it doesn't take much time so just really follow what i'm doing here So, I forgot to turn on my audio for all of the remaining sessions, so I am going to be using an AI voice to narrate it. So the next thing we need to do is draw an ellipse shape under each of the masks we created. So make sure no layer is selected, turn on the fill, and make sure the stroke is off. Then draw an ellipse shape. Then drag the shape layer under the particular layer we are creating for, so the shape goes under it. Then bring up your position and your scale properties to align it with the cut session properly. 
After that, duplicate the shape layer, then drag it down to the next layer. Using the scale and position, align it with the remaining layers properly. After that, select each layer and its corresponding shape layer and pre-comp them so that we have a clean timeline for our animation. So finally, to create the animation which I have created already, so instead of recreating it from scratch, I am just going to show you my setting to copy so you can copy it to yours and make all necessary adjustments in yours. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you.